everyone, it's Tony Moore from After Buzz TV's Dish and Days. We are here at Day of Days, and I have the wonderful, beautiful, talented Miss Camila Banos and the very handsome Mr. Lamone Archie. How are y'all doing? Doing good. Fabulous. How's the day going so far? Busy, busy. It's speeding by, I think. It's pretty fast. I yeah. think uh, in the past I've done interviews before, and I think it went a little slower. Yeah. I did the signing first, and yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. It's good. Now, this morning, I ran into Kabila, and she is literally like on a promo, like I have buttons, I have flyers, kick. Um, she, do you have any buttons with you? <laughs> I gave the last. You one gave to them my all the mom. way. Well, well, she oh, flyers, is though. that one? Oh, first of all, she has her flyer for her Zumba class, which was here. Yes, that's happening tomorrow. So by the time you see this, the Zuma class would have already happened. I am taking Mark. He has no choice. She came with buttons that I got the one of you and the twins. Aww. Like she is on a full on self promotion. I'm getting my things together. Well, can I say something about happening. buttons? Yes. Okay, so I came up with this idea because I always feel terrible that we arrive at 8:30, but then we don't see anybody until 10 when we go out to the, you know, to the kind of get introduced. Yeah. And even then, there's some people that are in specific lines that can't make it out to that area yeah they kind of get like the short end of the stick yeah you know and they don't get to see us get introduced and stuff so I was like well what can I do or what can we do and the, my first idea was actually to give out donuts so I, I was gonna go to dad's donuts and buy like four boxes of donut holes yeah you know just like yeah, little, just balls. The little ones yeah, yeah. and pass them out but yeah. then I got this button idea and I was like, fuck, okay, fine, okay, I'll just, and then I started incorporating all these people because all these great little pictures, I started finding them on, on internet. Online, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, now I gotta have one of Ari and now of Galen, I gotta have one of Eli, I gotta have one of Sal, I gotta have everybody. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it just. They, they are cute. And Lamone, what did you bring? <laughs> 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 Shade. I know wow. that was so that was so shady of me. That was so shady of me. I brought a gun. You brought, oh! yeah. Lamone brought tickets to the gun show. <laughs> Which is good enough for us. No comment. We're good with that. Okay. <laughs> so on the show, we are seeing uh, the relationship between Eli and Gabby. And I have to say, I'm here for it. Like, I love, yeah, I love, like, you know, your relationship with the kids and how. And I always like a slow build into the relationship where it's kind of like you have that eyebrow raise. Like, oh, okay, she's cute. Oh, okay, this is that. And then it just builds instead of being like, ah, we're together. Because we saw a little bit of it like a few a few months ago and then Gabby trailed off into the chadness of the situation the chadabus the and poor Eli um, but now we're back how do you guys feel about rekindling this this relationship between Eli and Gabby I'll start with Lamone since I started with you with the yeah. um you know what I love working with Camila mm -hmm. and honestly she's the only love Eli has had on the show you really haven't had seen him with anyone else yeah so and, and I think you know for me I feel real comfortable yeah with her yeah. Um, and you know it's, it's, it's always so much fun working with her she's just a huge spirit mm -hmm. you know and, 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 and goofy that. which helps bring out you know because I'm sometimes I can be kind of quiet but she brings out my goofy side and yeah. we, we have fun man we have a lot of fun Camila I will say for um, for me as far as working with Lamone it's been great you know yeah. he's, he's super quirky actually he's much quirkier than you would imagine he, mm -hmm. he puts off this kind of like I'm not like you know I'm kind of hard and like that's yeah. how I am yeah. you, you know you gotta have to get to know me but when you it. do it's like he's like this really cool guy yeah. and uh, and that really helps because when we're acting together as Gabby and, and Eli I feel like we at, at the beginning when we had those scenes mm -hmm. I came at him with like look dude I'm in love with Chad. If you want to spend time with me, that's up to you. Yeah. And it was very like open and very like everything was said and everything was on the table. Because mm -hmm. we had that and we came back to it months later, I feel like it really made us closer. Yeah. yeah. And we could talk to each other in a certain way where we were just comfortable with each other. And I think that's where we are now. Yeah. And I, I, I like it. Oh, okay. Um, so really quick, um, we are also seeing like other like sideline as I call them like uh, storylines that are happening Eli is bumping heads with Rafe and I have to commend you on how you play because you're like dude I'm on time I got this like you're just like nitpicking um, how is it working with uh, with Galen and having that interaction with him that, that dude is the joker 
yeah like the joker of all jokers like he he definitely had to be the class clown in school yeah for sure but i mean again it's just another cool guy that you know there he is it, it, do you hear him in yeah. the background yeah. This, yeah. the class clown <laughs> exactly that pretty much says everything right there yeah <laughs> but he you know is i'm having fun i'm working you know working with a lot of people yeah and you know I, I can't say anything but good things. Good. And then, Camila, I know you and I were messaging because you had posted um, a little meme of Gabby's reaction when you see, like, the person that you wanted to be with and how you would react. And I told Camila, I was like, you just need a gay best friend. Yeah. To, like, just come to and... To talk to. Exactly. And then about all, the all these frustrations. Exactly. Because all she's got is Ari, and Ari doesn't understand, and she no. can't be like, I just want to fuck him. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to work on that for you. I'll, we, I'll come in. I'll come in and take over. Now, I'm say insert Tony. <laughs> you know me so well now really quick before we have to wrap it up we're gonna play a quick game of never have I ever all right so um, put up three fingers all right now if you've done it you take it down if you haven't leave it up all right so really quick one finger down if we've done it yeah yeah so the first one never have I ever shown up late to set never have I ever pulled a prank on one of my cast members <laughs> Camila you are okay okay here we go uh, never have I ever arrived to never have I ever stole a piece of wardrobe from set ah! and Camila is out she's out she's out Lamone she's still still in there I have to Good. add that my practical joke was to Galen Gary because he is the jokester, so I have to always get it. <laughs> well, you guys, thank you so much for joining us, as always. It's always a pleasure to talk to you all. And mwah, and wishing you guys the best. I'm I'm here for this. I'm liking it. I want to see where it goes. I hope nothing is going to happen between this, and we're going to work on your gay best friend. Thanks, but it's Salem, so you know everything goes to shit. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs>